So today we're going to do a nice wedding look on Gwen. She's got a champagne coloured wedding dress. And firstly I'm going to use a bit of Beauty Flash Balm. So just a little bit of product on my hand and I'll just pat that in all over her skin which will tighten it up and give me a nice base to work on. While that's sinking in, I'm going to start with Gwen's eyes. So I'm using a neutral colour all over the eyelid, just to give me a base to work from. This is going to open Gwen's eyes up. Next product I'm going to use is a little Christian Dior eye palette with five different colours in it. It's been well used, I like these colours. I'm just putting the champagne colour all over Gwen's eyelid. These are nice and soft and they blend really easily. They do lots of different colours in these eye palettes and I happen to have most of them because they're really nice. This has got a slight sparkle through it but very slight, so it just gives that nice dewy eyed look. I'm then taking the darker brown colour and taking that on the outer corner of Gwen's eyes and just lifting it up right to her eyebrow and blending it softly. Everything should be really nice and soft for a wedding. No hard lines. You just want to look like yourself, only more beautiful. I'm then going to take a little bit of graphite cream liner um, from MAC. With your eyeliner and brush. And I'm just going to give Gwen a very nice thin eyeliner. right into the eyelashes, really close, but keeping it very soft. This is just a nice soft colour, it's not the hard black, it's just a wee soft grey. I'm just going to take a little bit of pencil underneath, just look up then, and I'm just dotting that on. Just use a little cotton bud to smudge that in a little bit. And now just going to take a little bit of the same base that I used at the start and just blend it in next to the eyebrows just to give a little bit of highlight around the eyes. I'm now going to do Gwen's base and then I'll probably go back to the eyes and do the mascara and add a little bit more colour if I need to. So this is um, Double Wear by Estee Lauder and this lasts all day long so she shouldn't have to retouch her makeup at any point. <laughs> you do want your base just to look really natural, um, just to light your own skin on your wedding day but Gwen just needs that little bit of coverage, just on the little red areas here that I'm doing at the moment. And this gives you that effect without looking too heavy. You need to take great care on blending it, depending on your wedding dress neckline, to make sure you can take the base right down your neck if you really need to. Um, make sure there is no difference in colour and I'm just going to powder that to set it. Using a little bit of uh, Clinique translucent powder and a pink powder puff to press the powder in and to make this base last all day. You just use little rolling movements and press it right into the skin. It takes away all the shine and keeps it matte, makes it last. And then just use a brush to get off any excess. Brushing down 
the face as that keeps any little downy hair going down the way. I'm now going to use um, a Bobbi Brown blusher which is sand pink so it's um, a nice, nice soft pink. Now I'm going to line Gwen's lips in a little pencil by MAC called Dervish. And Gwen's got a lovely full lip so I'm just doing a nice little soft line, nothing too hard. And I'm going to mix my lipsticks as ever. So I've got Twig from MAC here which is a brownie colour and I've got a little Crystal Baby from Estee Lauder which is slightly more moisturising and Gwen's lips are a little bit dry so the Crystal Baby will help that. This is a really nice wedding colour which will look great in photos. Also look very natural. I just always seem to blend colours. I never use one lipstick really. Rarely do I use one lipstick. So I'm using a lip brush to put this on and it will make it last all day as well. If you put it on properly, take a bit of time to put it on. You can blot that and put it on, reapply. It's all about layering really. And then I'm going to use a Michael Kors Estee Lauder, very Hollywood. It's a lip gloss. It was a limited edition one though, so I don't think you can get it anymore, but it's a really soft baby pink with a sparkle through it. And then I'm going to do Gwen's eyelashes. So I haven't done her eyelashes yet. And for this one, I'm using a Clinique one, and it's high lens mascara. Gwen, if you just look down for me, and you would go on to reapply another layer. And lastly, I'm just going to do a little bit of a uh, Bobbi Brown. This is like a bronzing palette, so I'm just going to give her that little all-over glow. This is great, you can take it right down your neckline. And it's not too sparkly. You don't want to look too sparkly in the photos because otherwise it can pick up as like sweat instead of sparkle. And there we have Gwen's wedding look. <laughs>